Hello Rogues, welcome to Rogue Report, the Rogue Company news channel. I've been debating going back to Rogue Report for a while, I've been thinking about it, um, even talking to some people about Rogue Report, and, um, you know, I've decided to come back to Rogue Company and Rogue Report, I, I mean, I've, I haven't left Rogue Company, but as I said, I'm not sure yet, but then we have Mini White Rabbit um, on Twitter saying that... You know, they might be doing a micro creator program. So it's not like the main program, but it still supports the smaller creators. So it says, currently we have a lot of hardworking creators who are too small for the main program. However, I was considering running a micro creator program. With a micro creator program, my goal would be to help lift you up as a smaller creator. That means community of practice space to connect with the bigger Roco creators and learn from them. Access to the Roco Creator Resource Bank and a free battle pass. Um, exclusive space in the Roco Career Discord, support for playing small tournaments and events, and potential for some creator features. This is obviously more grassroots and would not have access to the preview events and the other NDA content, but we would offer you all, offer you all more support than currently exists. Thoughts? So obviously I said yes, and um, just seeing, I've been seeing a lot of support on the videos and a lot of people that actually, you know, like you know, Rogue Company News and need it, and I think that I want to continue to do Rogue Company News for now, as long as the game is, you know, alive. And I, you know, I've been, I've been debating, but I think, you know, especially with this, um, I think just more support for the smaller creators, I, I think that this is something that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long, long time, and just, you know, more support for the community overall, more transparency. And hopefully, you know, I already have a, you know, a pretty good relationship with community managers, so, you know, I, I ask them questions, and, you know, I think most likely I'd be accepted into this. I think I'm, I'm probably, there's not a high bar, but I'm probably in the top 10 of the Rogue Cup. Well, I don't know, 400 subscribers. I think Brad's the top right now, but um, I think that returning back to Rogue Company would be a or returning back to Row Report would be a good decision for me. I love Row Company, I love the community, um, there really is just no community like it. I think that Row Company is just an incredible game, I've had so many great people, and just, I've put in all the work for Row Report, and I said I wouldn't be done till Row Company is dead, and it's not. Um, you know, of course, you will have to see what happens, but I think that I, I want to stay with Rogue Report, and I think that's going to be the decision I make. But yeah, basically, there's going to be a um, micro career program for smaller creators that either, I'm, I'm guessing, since there's not going to be any NDA content, that, you know, people under 18 can be accepted into the micro career program because of, um, you know, I won't have to sign any contracts, and I'm under 18, so I won't have to sort of sign any contracts or anything. But... And, and, uh, yeah. But here's an update, um, another thread. Um, Mini White Rabbit says, I've been open about my community philosophy for... I've been open about my community philosophy with all of y'all. I've been mulling for about over six months to organize a micro career program for Rogue Company. Here's my theory. Sorry, another short thread. Riot invests very heavily in content creators. I know this because I was part of the CSP creator support program team. While there, in addition to game communication... Granted, this wasn't done without significant money investment that virtually no other studio has, but the investment shows. To this day, I see um, League of Legends cosplay, streams, videos, and art float from my feed. And to be clear, I don't have the time that I did it right to just focus on creators 24-7. I'm working on three projects at high res. However, I think investment in creators is extremely important. It's investing in your players for the long term. And so, basically... What Minnie's saying is that it's it's important to invest in small creators, and I'm glad that she sees that. And, um, you know, Minnie has been such a great community manager, just working hard for the community. Radar as well, like, these are two great community managers. And I would love to see the creator, the creators be supported more. Like, just, the content creators are really the base of a game. They really support the whole game because, you know, that's where your hype's built up around. That's where you get your news. That's where you get your, you know, gameplay tips. Like, 
all of that. And I think it's something very important. I'm glad that Mini is trying to just help content creators. And I'm I'm glad for that. But yes, for all all the content creators here, I I think that we're all happy about this and glad that we are going to see some investment in the smaller creators. Not just big creators like Brad and Gummy Bear Vomit. And although we might not get as much stuff, we get more support. We may not get, you know, free codes. I mean, you do get free battle pass, which is pretty cool. But I think just more support, more help in making content is exactly what needs to drive creators. And I think this is just the thing I needed to make a comeback to Rogue Report after taking a little bit of a break, after thinking it over. And trust me, I've been thinking it over. And this is just kind of what pushed me over the edge to say, you know what, I'm going back to Rogue Report. A lot of people found these videos helpful. Um, you know, I think the big reason why I was considering leaving Rogue Company as a whole is just the community and just the general neg negativity. Like, yes, I get it. There's a lot of, you know, anger against the developers for not doing this or not doing that. And I understand that, but uh, I put out a Reddit post yesterday at the time of recording this video. Um, and everyone who replied to that was like, they should be able to figure out their own problems. Like, okay, so what it was is that many asked for like match IDs and stuff like that to help figure out server issues. All I heard was, nah, they've, they've had way too long, you know? That like, sure, maybe not, but what is what is stopping you from just giving giving many some match IDs to help figure out these issues? Like, even if it doesn't pay off, at least it's you know, if it if it does, it'll pay off big. If it doesn't, it was two minutes of your time giving some match IDs. Um, if you already had them recorded, and what's the real like? It's yeah. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to me for more Rogue Company news, because yes, there will be more Rogue Company news in the future. That's all I have for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.